welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Hey friends, thanks for joining me at my desk. I'm crocheting on my happy birthday granny rectangle blanket tonight. I'm actually filming this at 12 a.m. Thursday morning or Wednesday night, whatever, whichever way you want to look at it. But um, I'm up crocheting and thought I would just go ahead and film video my video. I've got a lot on my mind, a lot running through my mind. I did write down some questions to answer, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I have some other things I want to say. And so... Yeah, I think I just want to talk about some things that <clears throat> are concerns for mine or important to me and, you know, things like that. But I want to update you on a few things before I get into that. Um, let's see. Uh, first off, our water situation. We're still dealing with that. Um, I will put in some clips here of water... Um, around my house this is the road that we live on it has um yeah we got water <laughs> we got still so much water out here and and then i think we're supposed to be getting rain today like 55 percent chance so maybe not a whole lot of rain i'm hoping not a whole lot but we don't need any amount of rain. <laughs> Thankfully, we did not get any on Wednesday. But Thursday, we're supposed to get rain. And I, I think we got more coming, unfortunately. So, yeah, I just... I, we're not in any immediate danger. But it just makes me uncomfortable. And plus, it pushes animals out of the wildlife. Um, it pushes them out to you know the roads and our property and you know <laughs> everything else so yeah it's just not good to have this much water but um yeah I'll, I'll put in some clips right here so this is the dirt road turning off of the highway onto the road i live on way down there around that curve is around where i live so this is the way we have been coming in because of the water on miller road and now that water has went down a lot and now we have this water here and it is very deep right there so yeah you would my car would be floating <laughs> if i was to dive off into that so we're not going that way anymore we're going around to Miller Road and taking the blacktop but you can see there's just a lot of water that needs to soak up now this is right past my driveway um actually there to your left that is our property right here that I'm scanning that is the some of our property right there and you can see we just have water and there's water on up there. I kind of zoom in a little bit because I didn't want to drive too far and then have to back up so far. But there's water there. And then that's the curve right there past that sign. And so that's got a lot of water in it too. And then it turns around to the part that I showed you to begin with. Okay, you can see that's a lot of water <laughs> with more rain coming. And that's not, that's not good. But anyway, so keep that in your prayers if you don't mind. Just that the water, you know, will recede and have somewhere to go. That the earth will absorb it. <laughs> Soak up that water. But the ground is already so drenched. It is just saturated that it's just not, it's not soaking it up fast enough, right? But anyway, um... So, I have that on my mind. And then also, Wednesday, I had a scheduled doctor's appointment. And I woke up feeling just horrible. You know, when you have chronic chronic illness, you never know how you're going to wake up. 
I woke up feeling worse than I have in a long time. I mean, so bad I could not hardly move. I was just super, super stiff and just was in a lot of pain every, every which way I moved. So much that I did not even want to go to the doctor. I just felt like I felt too bad to get dressed to go. You ever felt that way? Like you have a doctor's appointment, but you feel like you're too sick to go to the doctor? <laughs> I know that sounds crazy to people who don't understand that, but I just didn't feel like I was up to getting dressed and going to the doctor. I'm going to take a drink of my chocolate milk. That's what I'm drinking tonight. I was talking to my friend Angela. I was talking to her and I said, you know, I, I don't know if I can go. I just really don't know. And she said, you better go. You know how hard it is to get a doctor's appointment with Dr. Covell? And I was like, yeah, I know. Um, her dad sees the same doctor. And she's like, you know how hard it is to get an appointment? And I was like, I know, I know, but good grief. I just, you know, I don't know that I can muster up the energy to get dressed to go but and then I talked to Big Daddy and I kind of said the same thing he was like you better go to your appointment <laughs> that's fine and dandy for people to say who's not hurting but I did go on I finally I sat here and I was like oh I need to be leaving like right now so I jumped up and got dressed real quick and got out the door and I was at the, at the hospital the rest of the day. I mean, I was there forever. As if I wasn't hurting bad enough before I went. I was really in a lot of pain by the time I left. But no, um, he did give me a shot of a Tordal Kenalog shot. So hopefully that's going to help with that. I mean, maybe it has some, but... I think when you're when you have chronic pain and you're in so much pain, I just don't think Toradol does that much for you. Um, honestly, it's never done really much for me. <laughs> oh, I might as well just I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, but my appointment with him and he was checking me out and everything, and he's like. You know, you look you look pretty yellow. He said, but you always do, but I think you do more today because, you know, I have kind of an olive um, skin tone, so I do throw off some yellows a lot. And so he was looking at my eyes and all, and he was like, I, I think you need to go get blood work done, and let's check your bilirubin. And so, yes, it's it's very high. So now we got to deal with that. I mean, if it ain't one thing, it's another. And sometimes I just get, I just get sick of it. I just get so tired of it. So anyway, so now my Billy Rubin was really high. So we got to deal with that. Hopefully that will come down. I don't have a gallbladder. I have had liver issues in years past, but it did get better. Um, and so, you know, hope I'm not going to be dealing with that again. Um, because it was kind of serious at that time. But the liver, if given a chance, can heal itself to an, a point. To a point, you know, I mean, if it's really bad off, it can't. But just a little bit sick, it can. And so I'm hoping that's what it is. And it'll just, you know, heal itself and I can carry on. But anyway, so, main thing is, uh, you know, jaundice, and I did get a shot to help with the pain I was having. And still pretty sore. <laughs> anyway, so, then I came on home, and... I've just been, I see, I crocheted a little bit, but not on this. I just, I wanted to make something else. And so, I did make this. It's a little gritty square. 
I have this little little midi Blythe doll. And so I made that hat for her. I'm going to have to get somebody, and probably not Big Daddy, somebody else to tie in some yellow yarn here and braid it to make some little hangy down thingies. So I don't know who's going to do that, but I don't think Big Daddy can do it. He, he, um, he put a doll's hair and ponytail for me the other day, and oh my gosh. <laughs> he tried. He tried. I give him, I give him um, credit for that. He did try. But I'm gonna have to find somebody to braid some strands to hang down from that. Um, because I do have something on my heart, and I'm just gonna spill spill it out there and just you know tell you what's what it is and how I think I want to challenge you guys and let's come together and start a new trend and make the world a better place if nothing else just it has to start with somebody and why not start with us but I'm not on Facebook I mean I have a Facebook account but I'm not on there per se. I don't get on Facebook. Let me just put it that way. Um, I'm totally out of that habit, and it is a habit. When I used to be on there, it was just a habit to get on there and just scroll and, you know, end up wasting several hours of doing nothing. And so, I wanted to get out of that habit, and I did break the habit. And so, the only time I get on Facebook is, um, mainly when I want to look something up. Now, I haven't deleted my account because I have tons of my kids' pictures on there growing up and stuff, and I don't want to lose those. And sometimes I do, you know, I'm looking for a certain photo, and I know that it's on there, and I can find it. Or if I'm just looking for something, I know I can go to Facebook and search and find, um, you know, what I was looking for or something. And I try not to, like, scroll and read, but sometimes I do. And sometimes I might think, oh, yeah, you know, well, I could um, get on there and, you know, talk or chat or whatever, you know. And then, and then I get on there for something just as simple as looking something up and end up seeing stuff. And then I'm just disgusted. I mean... There is so many perfect people in this world that I'm just sick of them. I mean, goodness. Perfect people, perfect parents, perfect everything. And I've never seen so many perfect people. I mean, they, I don't know what it is, but they jump at any chance to put somebody down, to rip somebody apart, to tell somebody how they're doing it wrong. I mean, what is it with these people? Does that make them happy to be to put somebody down? Does it make them happy to rip somebody apart? I mean, it's so sad. Do y'all see that when you're like on Facebook or I've been seeing it even in Instagram comments lately too. So I may have to just unfollow some people on Instagram. Not not because of them really, but I just I hate seeing that kind of stuff. It makes me so sad. It makes me hurt for the person that they're being mean to. I'm very um, sympathetic and empathy. I feel for other people very easily. And when I see people being mean to somebody, it hurts me to the core. It really does. And I see, I'm just seeing so much of that lately. And that's really one of the reasons why I did get off Facebook to begin with. Um, first off, I was wasting a lot of time that I couldn't get back. And second, um, it was just so much politics stuff and fights between friends and family members and stuff. Not, not mine, but I'm just saying I was just seeing family and friends and stuff fighting with people over COVID and politics and all this kind of stuff that 
at the end of the day, did it really matter? Did what you say to somebody, you know, if their opinion is different from yours, does it really matter? No, it don't. It really don't. <laughs> and if somebody doesn't have the same opinions and feel the same as I do, so what? <laughs> But I just don't like seeing people be mean to each other. I see people putting mothers down. It's always the mother's fault. Anything that happens, it's the mama's fault. It's never the daddy's fault. Why ain't it the daddy's fault? <laughs> but no, it shouldn't be. Everything should not be blamed on the mothers. I mean, okay, I'm a mother. I know as my kids were growing up, I was so hard on myself. Ask double, you know, checking myself, questioning myself. Am I doing the right thing? Did I handle that right? Did I say the right thing? Should I have been harder on him? Should I have not been so hard? I mean, as mothers, we, I'm just going to speak this for all mamas. We are hard on ourselves. We don't need other people being mean to us and being hard on us. But I noticed that mothers cannot do anything right. They can't. If whatever they're doing, people got to put it down. They got to put it down, you know, and say mean, hateful, ugly things. What is it? Why are people so bold like that? I just don't get it. I really don't. You know, I'm not perfect. By golly, I don't even want to be perfect. I'm perfectly happy doing things. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy halfway doing things. I don't need to be perfect. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm content being who I am, you know what I'm saying? And these people who are like bashing people, they're not perfect. So why are they getting on there acting like they are and just putting moms down so much? There's this one lady and on Instagram and bless her heart, she can't do anything right. She just had a new baby and people are like on her for posting on Instagram because she had a new baby I mean you know like why is it she's spending time with that baby and then she posts pictures of her you know like or a video or something or her holding the baby and they're like put the baby down you don't need to be carrying the baby all the time um I mean she can't do anything right I'm just like what poor woman I mean, my heart hurts for her. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, so, you know, I just, that really just bothers me to see the world the way it is and to see how mean people are. And so I was just thinking, I want to put out a challenge to you guys. Let's, en let's encourage people. I would like to put out the challenge to you guys to, it, whether it be on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, encourage someone today. How about let's try to, let's try to encourage at least one person every day of our life. That wouldn't be that hard, right? To just tell somebody they're doing a good job. To tell somebody you're proud of them. To tell somebody, you know, you see them. You see them working hard. You see them raising their family and doing the best they can. And, you know, so let's do that. Let's, if you watch a video, I mean, I'm not saying every video you watch, but at least once a day, let's try to encourage someone to lift someone up to you know tell them hey you're doing a good job i like how you did that i like the colors you picked you know just something and maybe maybe eventually 
I would love to see a, this, this trend catch on where we're like nice to people. <laughs> Who would have ever thought we need that to be a trend? To be that, you know, people are nice to each other. Y'all are always so nice to me. You are. You say the sweetest words to me. And it, I do appreciate that. And it encourages me so much. Let's go encourage somebody else, okay? Um, really and truly, if you are on Facebook and you see someone's post, encourage them. Tell them what a good job they did or how good they're doing or you know, how much you liked it or something, whatever. On Instagram, same thing. Just encourage people. Now, on Instagram, I only follow, like, um, art people. People who do, you know, some kind of craft or art or something like that. So, I don't see a lot of political type things or controversy things because I don't follow people who post those kind of things on Instagram it's easier to get away with that <laughs> but um it would bring me down really fast if I did so yeah do y'all see that what I'm what I'm talking about do y'all see that out there on um even YouTube videos you know, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever social media you're on. Do you see that trend where people are just so mean to each other? And, and they don't even know people. And they're still just mean to them. And everybody has to, like, whatever somebody's doing, they're doing it wrong. Like, you can't... I've seen people out there that cannot do anything right. <laughs> anything they do, people are complaining about it and putting them down saying really some nasty ugly things and I just think yeah let's let's change that and I know we're just a few little people about you know in this big old world but it's got to start somewhere so I just want to challenge each and every one of you who watch this video to encourage someone today and if you read something or see a video or a Facebook post or Instagram and, you know, it's not your cup of tea, it's not what you would have done, find a way to, and if you feel compelled to comment, find a way to encourage them in some kind of way without being ugly. <laughs> I don't think any of you guys are ever ugly. I really don't. But I'm just saying, gosh. Yeah, that, that's really on my heart. Heart. Why well, I've been crocheting this afternoon. I've just been thinking about all the mean, ugly, hateful people in this world. Like, how did we get here? I don't know. I don't know how we got here. But it hurts me. It really does. So, I am going to every, you know, not every, but when I watch YouTube videos, I'm going to try to encourage that person and, you know, tell them what I like about whatever they were doing. If there's something they were doing and I didn't like it, I'm just going to be quiet about it. <laughs> I don't have to tell them I didn't like something they did, right? We don't have to tell that. We can be nice. I just don't know why people can't do that. But I love you guys. I really do. And I do appreciate y'all. Like I said, y'all always say the sweetest, kindest words to me. And really, it just... Uh, y'all don't know. Y'all bring me to tears all the time. Because y'all are so sweet. And I know that my sweet friends here, we can make a difference in this world. We can start it making a difference and if you have any kind of platform or just even on your facebook your personal facebook page wall whatever you call it or instagram why don't you challenge people also to encourage someone today or whatever you want to call it i don't care what you call it say something nice to somebody today smile to somebody today i mean let's let's encourage all our friends 
to do the same. And eventually, maybe it'll catch on. I don't know. <laughs> I would love to see that be a trend where we're nice to people. <laughs> I'm about to use up the rest of my yellow. Um, like I said, I've been crocheting um, a little bit on this, but then I was wanting to make that little Blythe hat. So I uh, um, crocheted. All, all I did on that was I just crocheted two little granny squares and I used a five millimeter hook and then I um, started back here on the back no I started right here on the front and I crocheted up over and then I crocheted around and around and around and around to back where I started and then just tied it off and it kind of makes a little pixie um, hat a little fairy pixie hat maybe um, and so yeah I want to do her some little um, braids to go right there but I thought it was cute it might have could have been done with a smaller hook but right now I'm just comfortable using the five <laughs> Let's see which one did I use. I used this right here. I started it with my um this five right here. I had to start a project. I have to start off with my hand brace on um because I need to use my thumb some, but once I get going, then I can um you know I don't have to use my thumb and I use my thumb to hold the hook. So, yeah. And then I just got back to crocheting on this a little bit ago. And I was just, my mind's just running, you know. Like, I do enjoy being on Instagram. Because you can just scroll and heart stuff and, you know, keep scrolling. It's not quite like Facebook. Um... So, anyway, and I was just thinking, maybe I don't need to be on social media. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyway, uh, um, who knows. But I appreciate you guys. Like I said, y'all mean a lot to me. And I love, I love how you guys are always encouraging me. And I appreciate that so much. But um, let's encourage some other people, too. Let's share the love. I, I'm willing to share you guys with my friends. <laughs> and let's just, you know, encourage people. Encourage someone. Tell them what what a good job they're doing or how you liked such and such or how you like how they did something. Or, you know, let's make people feel good. Gosh. Yep. So after I finish up this yellow, I'm going to be um, adding orange next. And I have my orange here ready to go. But when I get to this, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to take this yellow until that ball runs out. So I'm not doing just, you know, one round per color. I'm doing, I'm making these balls so it will be more random and so that I don't run out of yarn trying to make complete rounds so on this round here not round but this color sequence I've got my orange my pink and my white left and then I'll make some more balls starting with the purple and then do it again I don't feel like I have crocheted as fast on this blanket as I did the one in February the sweetheart blanket um, that was before my, um, seventh finger amputation, which was this finger here. So, in February, I felt like I crocheted a lot faster than I'm doing now. And I'm just slower right now, so my blanket hasn't grown as fast as it did in February. 
So I'm a little disappointed in that, but I mean, what? That's to be expected, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm disappointed in it other than I just wanted to be finished with this blanket at the end of the month but I think it needs to grow a lot before the end of the month gets here so I don't know I just need to crochet on it but I have other projects I want to crochet on also it's hard to find that balance and I think I talked about this in another video a few days ago and then somebody said well if you find that balance let me know <laughs> sure thing but yes uh you know I have, I have stuff i want to do so yeah anyway i'm gonna let you guys get going i love you all i hope you have a blessed day Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet or do any other project that you have your mind set on today. And I will see you all again in the next video. Bye, friends. Take care and crochet your heart out. <laughs>